Join us now, Dr. Khalid Jenfawi, former assistant professor at Kuwait University College of Arts, a columnist at El Siasa Daily, to brief us on the participation of the state of Kuwait in the summit, along with the speech delivered by the representative of His Highness the Amir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect and bless him. His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect him. Good evening, sir, and thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Our pleasure. At the outset, what is your reading of the most prominent content of the speech of the State of Kuwait delivered by the representative of His Highness the Amir? May Allah protect and bless him. His Highness the Crown Prince, may Allah protect him before the conference of the second edition of the Summit of the Green Initiative, sir. Well, His Highness uh, uh, emphasized uh, Kuwait's commitment to green energy in general, and he also uh, uh, discussed and uh, you know talked about the uh, um, clean uh, fuel uh, initiatives uh, adopted by Kuwait, and he also um, explained how Kuwait has been uh, committed to the uh, United Nations uh, climate uh, um, agreements, and he also uh, added. Uh, um, more information, if you like, about the uh, uh, contributions of the state of Kuwait and also the other Gulf uh, region states uh, in regards to the uh, um, uh, to fighting uh, climate change and uh, climate uh, uh, warning. Warming. Uh, in addition to uh, all of these uh, initiatives uh, initiated by Kuwait itself and the other G. GCC uh, countries, uh, His Highness uh, emphasized uh, the continual uh, commitment of Kuwait towards uh, the United Nations project, uh, uh, especially uh, relating to, uh, to the climate change and also to the uh, production of clean uh, fuel and also to finding other natural resources as substitutes for the uh, carbon-based uh, energies. Dr. al Janfawi, the representative of His Highness the Amir, His Highness the Crown Prince, was keen during his speech to affirm the necessity of commitment to the participate in the Gulf Global Initiatives. Give us an insight regarding this statement. Uh, well, the, um, as I said earlier, uh, the, um, the, um, the Kuwait's commitment to the uh, United Nations project, and especially uh, uh, in regards to the clean f uh, fuel uh, policy, if you like, uh, uh, shows uh, you know, uh, our, if you like, uh, interest in uh, such projects, and also uh, clarify, if you like, or emphasize the importance uh, of the role of Kuwait uh, in uh, such projects. And historically, Kuwait, uh, since the independence, since the 1960s, has been a very powerful force uh, in its commitment to the United Nations uh, projects in general, and just recently, it's also contribution to the uh, um, if you, to, to you know, if you like, to um, to the clean energy uh, initiatives uh, all around the world. Sir, could you tell us and tell, talk about the most prominent project implemented by the state of Kuwait within the framework of the new Kuwait Vision 2035, specifically the pillar of the sustainable living environment? Yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, well, Kuwait's commitment to sustainable living. Um, might be represented uh, most importantly in the uh, initiatives of the clean fuel policy, if you like, and also there are other projects that uh, uh, the Kuwait Petroleum Company uh, has adopted, and uh, they are on, if you like, uh, they, are, they will be continuing to uh, achieve such uh, goals. Um, so, uh, if you like, if you want to emphasize the most important uh, contribution of the state of Kuwait towards uh, climate change or to the, uh, if you like, to the uh, uh, dealing with this uh, very international uh, problem, is its emphasis on substituting its, uh, you know, uh, if you like, if, uh, substituting substituting its uh, national energy with uh, clean fuel energy and if this uh, shows anything it shows uh, how committed uh, is our government if you like and uh, you know uh, in regards to these uh, uh, international based uh, initiatives 
What about the implication of the state of Kuwait's emphasis on the importance of the Middle East initiative and its full support for the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to achieve the recommendations reached by this initiative? Indeed. Uh, well, in his speech, His Highness emphasized the uh, important role the, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, is doing in regards to the uh, clean fuel initiatives and uh, one can see the Kuwait uh, or Kuwaiti the Kuwaiti contribution is uh, within the context of the general regional contributions led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and uh, this will also uh, ultimately um, if you like um, strengthen the GCC economies and also uh, will uh, renew uh, the natural resources in this region and will also cement, if you like, the uh, economic and environmental relations among the GCC countries led by the, uh, you know, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Dr. Al Janfawi, thank you so much for the, your contribution in our program. That was Dr. Khalid al Jamfawi, former as assistant professor at Kuwait University College of Arts, columnist El Siasa Davis. Stay with us, we'll be right back.